What is going on guys? It is Trifecta J here and welcome to the opening day of the 2015 MLB season as the Atlanta Braves are on the road to take on the Miami Marlins to open the season up. Last year the Braves went 79 and 83 but after missing the playoffs the Braves decided to break it all up and trade away a lot of key pieces. Today we have Dan Heron, the 34 year old veteran and the 24 year old young gun Julio Tehran versing each other and the starting lineup for the Atlanta Braves Eric Young Jr. Jace Peterson who was acquired in the Justin Upton trade Nick Markakis came over from Baltimore Freddie Freeman Christian Betancourt Kelly Johnson Alberto Caspo and Andrelton Simmons Eric Young Jr. came over from the Mets in the offseason and strides into the box we are underway as Heron's first pitch misses below the strike zone and we have a 1-0 count Second pitch is a ball hit right up the middle. Hechevaria there. He throws to Morse at first base, and that is the first out of the season. Jace Peterson strides in the box as the second batter of the season as he came over in the Justin Upton trade along with Max Freed as the cutter misses down low once again at a 1-0 count. Now a 2-1 count. Already five pitches into the game. One out, and that ball is hit up the middle. Hechevaria able to get to that one, and his throw to Morse is a little low but Morse is able to scoop it for the second out of the inning. 2-2 count with two outs as the former Baltimore Oriole who signed a four-year deal in the offseason is up, and he will fly that one straight up. Martin Prado, the former Brave, in to get it, and he will catch it, and that will end the first half of the first inning. D. Gordon leading off for the Miami Marlins hit 289 in a breakout season last year with the Los Angeles Dodgers as Tehran's first pitch is away and it is a curveball on the left side of the plate. Tehran making his second career opening day start and also his second straight and he just put D Gordon on the bases something you never want to do when someone has that amount of speed. Christian Yelich is up to hit as the pitch is away that is hit hard to deep left center field Eric Young Jr. back and he gets to the ball for the first out of the inning. D. Gordon at first, John Carlos Stanton in, and he will go down swinging his first regular season at bat since the scary injury last year, as now Marcelo Zuna, 2-2 count, two outs with a man on first, that ball is hit hard to right field, at the wall it bounces off, Marquez is not able to play cleanly, D. Gordon around third, and he will get in for the Marlins' first run of the year, and first run on the day, Marcelo Zuna comes up with a big RBI. Michael Morse in now the offseason acquisition of the Marlins and he goes down swinging Tehran's second strikeout of the day. The Braves are now up as Christian Betancourt the second year catcher is up and he will go onto the bases a five pitch walk. Now a 2-2 count 22 pitches on the day as Kelly Johnson swings at the high heater and he will go down swinging. Now Alberto Cayaspo into the game. And he hits that one straight up the middle, and it is through a single for the former Oakland Athletic men at first and second. The Gold Glove shortstop, Andrelton Simmons, is up for his first at bat of the season. He rockets that one into center field. Betancourt going home relay throw to Heron, and Betancourt is out, and that will end the inning. An aggressive call right there, and it does cost the Braves their first run of the season. A drag bunt from EYJ. Salt on the Machia not able to get there in time as Eric Young Jr. will take his spot at first base. Jace Peterson up a lot of speed at first and he takes off Eric Young Jr. into second. Stole 30 bases last year and that's his first on this season. Jace Peterson hits that one hard to left field. Yelich out there and Young will tag up and head into third as he gets there without the slide standing up. An 0-2 count with two outs. Nick Markakis up. He hits that one hard to center field. Ozuna back, and he's able to track that one down. Another lost opportunity for the Atlanta Braves. 2-0 count for Freeman as we skip forward to the top of the fourth. Freeman gives that one a drive to right field, and it's out of here. An F-bomb for Freddie Freeman, his first of the season. The star first baseman for the Atlanta Braves comes up big with the Atlanta Braves' first run of the season. 0-1 count for Alberto Cayaspo. It is hit straight up the diamond into center field. Ozuna will get there, and that is a single for Alberto Cayaspo. 
Andrelton Simmons up. He hits that one to right field. Going back is Stanton, and he's able to come away with that ball. A nice fielding play from the known hitter. Stanton struck out his first time up. Now another 0-2 count, and he goes down swinging once again his second strikeout of the season. A 3-0 count for Michael Morse, two outs. This is a big pitch, and Morse gets to take his base. As Tehran has settled down somewhat after a 27-pitch first inning, he has definitely turned it around to some extent. A 1-2 count is hit right up to Anderson Simmons. The Gold Glove shortstop is there. Probably the best defensive player in maybe all of baseball comes away with the out to end the inning. As Julio Tehran, Eric Young Jr., and Jace Peterson will start us off in the fifth. EYJ up, and he will take his base. As similar to when we walked D. Gordon, you can't walk some of that type of speed as it normally comes back to bite you. Jace Peterson up, and he hits that one right to the second baseman, and that is a 4-6-3 double play to get the Marlins out of the inning. Rarely see speed players like Peterson and Young Jr. hit into double plays, but that was a tough play. But Jared Salta-Lamakia, the DFA in real life, strikes out. So now Adini Hechevarria up, and he goes down swinging also. That curveball is working very well for Tehran. Definitely a nice punch out pitch. Top of the six, no count, and Markakis is up. He hits that one to deep right field. Going back is Stanton. He gets to the wall, not able to get to the ball, and that one is out of here. Markakis' first home run of the season, and the Braves now have a, a two to one lead. Two strikes once more for Giancarlo Stanton. Pitches away from Tehran, and that is the hat trick right there. Giancarlo Stanton this time goes down looking. Michael Morse up in the bottom of the seventh. This will probably be Tehran's last inning. He hits it to Andrelton Simmons. Makes a great play, but does not get the throw over there in time. A play he normally makes. We would go on to challenge it, but it would not be overturned. Martin Prado up, however, and Julio Tehran gets another strikeout for the second out of the inning. That curveballs will get a slow motion look as he did break his wrist right there. And that is just a great punch out pitch working very well so far. That ball is lying down the left field line and it will get into left field. Johnson's throw is offline and that is a big play. Tehran over 100 pitches on the day and he gets Hechevarria looking for his eighth strikeout and that will be Julio Tehran's last inning. One two count and Eric Young Jr. goes down looking. A poor play right there, a great pitch really as that was right on the corner. Nick Markake is up, and that is his second hit, as that one goes straight into center field. Hedge for you, not able to get there, and a single. Freddie Freeman now up, 3-2 count, two outs, and that is a big call from the umpire, as Freeman will now take his base, men at first and second. Full count for Betancourt. He will hit it to shortstop, as Hechevarria throws it to D. Gordon, and that will get Morris out of a big jam as Dan Heron's day is over at this point. Seven hits on the day, not really been able to capitalize on it. As a left-hander reliever, Luis Avilan, the 25-year-old, will take the mound for his first appearance on the season as the pinch hitter Ichiro Suzuki is up. He flies that one to the third baseman Chris Johnson. He is out there and gets it for the second out of the inning. It is now a two outs and that ball is hit hard to right field Markake is back and he catches Yelich's pop fly a pretty hard hit ball but that will now take us to the top of the ninth AJ Ramos is into the game as Anderton Simmons is up to hit 0-2 count two outs he goes down swinging and Salt of the Maki will go to Morse at first and we will now go to the bottom of the ninth Jason Grilly, the veteran closer at 38 years old, 6'4", coming over from the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the offseason is on to close this game out. Only a one-run game, an 0-1 count, the most dangerous hitter, and that is lined into center field, a huge hit to start off the ninth inning. Still no outs as a 3-2 count for Marcelo Zuna, Giancarlo at first base, and Ozuna gets to take his base on a 8-pitch walk. So now bottom of the ninth, 0-1 count, Michael Morse up to hit. He hits it to Johnson, and he throws it to second. Got Stanton, goes to first, and that's a game-ending triple play, as I don't know if that's ever happened before. A huge play from Chris Johnson, 
Jace Peterson and Freddie Freeman to end this game. The outfielders celebrate a 2-1 victory for the Atlanta Braves on opening day. A 7-pitch outing. Only one earned run for Julio Tehran. One RBI from Nick Markakis on his solo home run. A great performance and an amazing way to end the game as Jason Grilly gets his first save of the season and Tehran gets his first win. Overall, just like I said, a great win. I hope you did enjoy. Leave your feedback. I'm still getting back used to commentating baseball games, so it might be a little rough maybe for the first couple of episodes. Maybe this was okay, but let me know your feedback down below. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments down below on the game because I'm out.